Sultan, Ya Rabbi, you are our king. You are our ruler. Anta al-Malik. Al-Adl, Ya Rabbi, you are the king. You are the just one. Inshallah, we can be just ones. Just ones, Inshallah, we can be also kings. Sultan. Sultan al-Akhira. We can be Sultan al-Akhira, Inshallah. Sultan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will dress crowns on day of judgment. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that there will be a group of people coming on manabir from Nur. Manabir, member, pulpit. They will be coming on pulpits of Nur, of light. That even Anbiya will say, who, who are these? And these are Al-Mutahabuna Fillah. These are the ones that love each other for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing else. Nothing else. No dunya. That's what Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is talking about. He said, Ahlu dunya mukhtalifin. The people of dunya always are in disagreement. Alhamdulillah, our parliamenters, they show that all the time. <laughs> I politely or uh, I disagree, disagree. Ahlu dunya are always in disagreement. The people that are running after dunya, position in dunya, influence in dunya, uh, wealth in dunya are always مختلفين, difference dis in disagreement and متحاسدين, and jealous of each others jealous of each other because each one of them has a specific goal that is different from the goal of the one in front of them so now a days we have we are in a uh, time that also ahlul din the people of religion are in the same boat as Ahlul Dunya. Now the people, the religious people, especially the scholars, they are in disagreement. They are jealous of each other. They are envious of each other. Because what, what they like, as Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is, is saying, they like Talabu uh, Zuhur wa Hubbu Dunya. They are asking Zuhur to be seen. Seen and be seen. Is that what they say? To see and to be seen. One friend of mine, some, when I used to work, he says, I always take my wife to these uh, hospital parties. I said, why do you do that? <laughs> he says, because she wants to see and to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies like to see and to be seen. Now also men, like to see and to be seen. Not only that, now deen, scholar, religious people, like to see and like to be seen. That is the, that's why they are so many times against each other. Not only the scholars, Ahlul Turuq now, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, not only the people that are into dunya and I, my diploma is this, my diploma is that, even now the people that are supposed to be Sufis, that means the ones that have left everything, Darwish. The one that is pretending to be Darwish. I am following Zuhud. Zuhud, asceticism, which is like I, a word I never understood. But I understood Zuhud, it means you leave what you like. That's the way I understand it. You like something, you leave it. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That means you don't want to have a love of something else in your heart. That is Zuhud. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim one time said that Abba Yazid al-Bastami came into the Divine Presence. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, With what did you come, O 
أبا يزيد He said يا ربي I came بزهد عن الدنيا I came because I have left dunya He said you left something that doesn't weigh the, the wing of a mosquito What worth is that? You came you came to me saying that you left dunya. Dunya has no value in front of my eyes. You left something that is useless, worthless. He said, Ya Rabbi, how do I come to you? What is the real zuhud? He said, the real zuhud is that you leave what you like for me. That's why Allah, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered, don't do this. When you leave that, when you leave forbidden, that is true zuhud. You are desiring it. You are wanting it. You are fighting with yourself, struggling with yourself because you want it. But you say, I am leaving it for my Lord. That is real zuhud. Real as asceticism. Do you know what that means, Sheikh? I, me too. We are on the same thing. <laughs> real darwish. You're leaving what you like for Allah. Not leaving dunya. Leaving what you like. Because why? It is forbidden. That's what he wanted from Adam alayhi salam. He wanted from Adam alayhi salam to leave what he wants. Because why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, this is, do not touch. And then if a human being say, I really like it, I really love it, I want it. But since my Lord said, don't touch, I leave it for him. That is the true zuhud, the true ubudiyya. So the people of Tariqah are learning what? Learning to leave what they like. Even in this kind of, in this group, there is now uh, hasad, there is jealousy and envy because they have become uh, ahlul dunya. There's no more ahlul tariqah anymore. There's no more people trying to purify themselves from the love of this world. Actually, it's the opposite. The ones that are saying that we are in tariqah are more into what this world has to offer. I am a sheikh. Uh, what do I do? I ride a Mercedes. <laughs> uh, son model, they say. Uh, latest model. So, did you see in UK how Sheikh come to the to the to the mosques and conferences? Rolls Royces, Sheikh. <laughs> Bentleys. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Okay. They they uh, there are people that love them. They make them, the, but they come in such fashion, in fashion of dunya. Shuyukh are not about coming in, in dunya. Shuyukh are not dunya people. But it has turned around. That's why Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, Ahlul Tariqa asbahu fi nafs al -wadi. The people of Tariqa are now in the same valley. Their hum, their, their concern is Sheikh Hud, Talabu Zuhur, wa Hubbu Dunya. Wa hadha ja'alahum a'da li ba'dihim al -ba Shuyukh nowadays, their concern is, is uh, to be the sheikh, to be the one, to ask to be seen, and the love of dunya in their hearts. That's why they have become enemies of each other. How many shuyukh, they slander each other. And they're supposed to be tariqah shuyukh. How many shuyukh, they, uh, they have love of dunya in their hearts. Now, we heard so much. We heard so much. And that's how they made, they became enemies to each other. Why? Because they are, maqsood is dunya. Because they're, they're, what they want is dunya. But if what they wanted is Allah, there will be no enmity. Mawlan Sheikh Nazim is saying, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was really what they wanted, they would never have differed. Because it's one. Their want is one. Uh, if if somebody is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that means the other one will not be with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? No, the other one will be too. So there's no competition there. If you are with Allah, I am with Allah, he is with Allah, she is with Allah. We are all with our Lord. There's no need to hate each other. There's no need to disagree with each other. There's no need to compete with each other because all of us are in that love ocean of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when we want dunya, if you take it, I'm deprived from it because you have taken it. So what do I do? I show you in a bad way. Why? So I take it <laughs> and you don't take it. Yeah, that's, 
That's, that is the way nowadays, Ahlul Dunya. So Mawlan Sheikh Nazim is saying, our nazar has to be to Malakut, spiritual world. But our nazar has become to Mulk, to Earth. That's why we read in Surah Tabarak, أَسْتَعِيدُ بِاللَّهِ أَفَمَنْ يَمْشِي مُكِبًّا عَلَى وَجْهِهِ أَهْدَى أَمَّنْ يَمْشِي سَوِيًّا عَلَى صِرَاطِ مُسْتَقِيمٍ Is the one that keeps falling on his face, means that he turns his face to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Rabbi, I want you, and then he turns to dunya. He turns to Allah, and then he turns to dunya. So many of us that we do that. Is that one better or the one that is always walking on that sirat towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So you have, he says, Wali, do you see a Wali hate another Wali? Can Awliyaullah hate another Awliyaullah? So how can two Shaykh claim to be, each one of them claim to be Waliullah, hate each other? هَلْ تَرَى وَلِي يَبْغُضْ وَلِي بُغُضْ Do you see a wali having bugs in his heart for another wali? No. كَيْفَ يَكُونُ وَلِي How can somebody be waliyu Allah or awliya Allah and he has jealousy and envy and he looks to dunya? Therefore, my brothers, Mawlana is saying that you have to know your, what you want. You want dunya or you want mawla. If you want dunya, if you chosen dunya, then all insects in your hearts, all, bad, all the bad manners will come to your heart. All the monsters, wuhush, will be in your heart. All the shayateen will be in your heart. You will be the center of fitna, the center of confusion. Because dun with dunya is all evil. But if you ask mawla, with mawla comes what? That's how you find out who is a wali and who is not wali. With Mawla comes what? With Allah comes what? With Zikrullah comes what? Ala bi dhikrillahi tatma'in. Tuma'nina. Is tuma'nina Urdu? Because I, I explained. Mutma'in. Itminan. Itminan is called. Itminan is Urdu. Itminan is to be calm, peaceful, tranquil, uh, no worries, no anxieties. Only with Zikrullah. When you are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the sign of that, if you want to say, let me see, am I with my Lord or am I not? Look, are you a satisfied, content, tranquil, peaceful, calm person? If you're not, then Mawlan Shaykh Nazim is saying, with you are all the whispering of shaitans, all the bad characteristics, all hasharat and wuhush. All monsters and insects means all worries and concerns because your heart has left zikrullah. So, waliullah, the, the sign of wilayat, because people always ask, they want the secret of wilayat. Okay, first find the sign of wilayat. They are asking Surah al wilaya. But first, the sign. The sign is that you are always at peace. If you are sick, you're happy. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. If you are uh, healthy, you're happy. If you are poor, you're happy. If you are rich, you're happy. If you are up, you're happy. If you are down, you're happy. Any situation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts you in, if you are waliullah, you are content. That is waliullah. Allah bi dhikrillahi tatma'innu al Man yaqsudu al-mawla, whoever asks, and his destination is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, la yabqa indahu, with him will not remain, athar, trace, min ham aw gham, ham, worry, gham is depression. They come to Mawlana and they say, we are depressed. Why are you depressed? Why do you have gham? Depression. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, عندما تنسى مولاك when you forget your mawla Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وتختار الدنيا and you choose dunya تنزل عليك الهموم all the all the concerns will come down on you and you will drown in it the ones that forget Allah Almighty جل جلاله the one that forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
and his qada and his qadar and his promise of Jannah and promise of Nar and promise of the hereafter and the last judge, the judgment day. Whoever forgets that, on them comes down concerns and worries of this dunya. And they, they drown in it. The ones that forget. The ones that remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are what? Mutma'in. It, it may not. It may not. Itmi'nan is the Arabic. Itmi'nan. So, if you want not to be depressed, don't go to psychiatrist. Come to awliyaullah. <laughs> they will teach you the way. They will teach you the way how to forget your worries. How do you forget your worries? <laughs> there Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying. How do you forget your worries? He said, is there better, sh better shelter than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? When you are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Mawlana Shaykh is saying, where was it? I just read it here. When you are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you forget everything else. That's why, فَفِرُّوا إِلَى اللَّهِ You want to escape depression? Run to Allah Almighty. You want to uh, escape COVID? <laughs> Go into isolation. <laughs> isolate yourself. But with zikrullah. Not isolate yourself in, in front of a virtual screen. <laughs> with zikrullah. You want to run from depression, worries, anxieties. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, be with Allah Almighty. Mention him, remember him, ask him, talk to him. He hears you. You think Allah, if you talk if you talk to the mid air, they will think you're crazy. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is listening to you. These homeless people outside sometimes they're not crazy. They might be awliya Allah. Don't don't kick them around. They're talking to themselves. They're not talking to themselves. They're talking to their Creator in the in the language they know, in the way they know. They're talking. Telling either their love or their complaints. If they are complaining about you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may slap you. Yeah, be careful. Be careful. The dua of Muslim, the one that was oppressed, their dua is accepted. Even if they're not Muslim. You're gonna have so many things come upon your heads. Oh leaders, watch your people, make them happy, help them, don't crush them. Now they crush them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always put on top of us good ones, merciful ones, that respect the ones that are on the bottom. Ibadullah, Ya Rabbi. Walli umurana khiyarana. Our umur, our affairs, give it to the ones that are good among us. Walli umurana shirana. Don't give our affairs to the ones that are bad among us. The good ones on top. So that is. That is Mawlana's advice. He's just reminding us that always say, Allahu Naziri, Allahu Shahidi, Allahu Ma'ani. My Lord is with me. The Lord of Heavens, Allah Almighty, is watching me. The Lord of Heavens, Allah Almighty, is witnessing me. He's always with me. When you have that zikr in your heart, you're always content. You're always at peace and at ease. Allahu Allahu shahidi, Allahu ma'i, ma'i, with me. I read a story that one time a young man was going to Hajj, walking. To go to Hajj, you have to pass the desert. There's no, mashallah, here everything is green. You get thirsty, you find a stream somewhere. You get hungry, you find a tree somewhere. In, in, on the way to Hajj, there's nothing. So a caravan passed. And there was a sheikh in that caravan and saw that man, young man walking by himself in the distance. They reached him. Maybe he needs something. They said, oh young one, do you have any food? He said, no, I don't have anything. They said, how are you walking? Going to Hajj or going to Mecca, Mukarrama, without any zad, without any sustenance. He said, yeah sheikh, look around you. Do you see anything other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? 
if I need something from mid-air, it will come to me and I'll eat and drink. The sheikh said, okay, go. Because the sheikh had iman. If we tell people that, they will say, you're crazy. What, how can that happen? Uh, didn't you hear of the rock of Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam? Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam had a rock. What did he do with that rock? He hit it. What happened? Twelve fountains of water came out. He had a rock. He hits it. Twelve springs of water come out and all the tribes of Bani Israel drink from it. Hundreds of thousands. It is said that when he left uh, Egypt to cross, to run away from Pharaoh, he left with 600,000 uh, soldiers from Bani Israel. Uh, they are all over 15 and under 50. The ones that 600,000 capable of fighting Pharaoh. Okay, how about the children and the elders? In the millions they left. What did he take with him? A rock? To water them and what else Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made uh, the meat and the halwa and the dessert rain Al-Manwa <laughs> they were in the desert walking they got hungry Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rained on them chicken or birds whatever it was Al-Man and then after they ate their meat and they were hungry they wanted sweet <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him sweet. was raining sweet in the desert. And this young man had iman. The sheikh had iman. He knew that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to, he is able to rain all the food and water that this young man wants. This, this young man said, Yes, Sayyidi, oh sheikh, look around you. Do you see other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? That means his, his manifestation, his power is everywhere. If I need something, it will come. I will, he will water me, he will feed me, no problem. He can, he can make everything around me green and water in one instant. I can drink, I can eat, I can continue. I can continue. One time, also this is a nice story, uh, a man came to Waliullah, praying with him. The time to eat came. This Darwish doesn't have any food. He's waiting for Waliullah to see what he's going to offer him. Waliullah brought out uh, a rock. <laughs> this rock had two mouths. Two mouths. From one mouth, water was coming. From the other mouth, asal, honey was coming. So they drank and they ate honey. He said, yes, Sayyidi, explain to me, how does this happen to you? He said, Ya Waladi, oh my son, I am a Muslim, I am a mu'min, and I am an obedient one to my Lord. Ta'ya, ta'at. I am somebody that obeys my Lord, and I have believed in Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu wasallam. That disobedient ones got their food and drink because of Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. A, a Muhammadan one, a Muhammadi one, will not get his drink and food when the disobedient one got theirs. He was, he was turning to, he was, he was telling him that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving food and drink to disobedient servants of his, he will not be giving food and drink to an obedient person of his that has followed Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they have followed Musa alayhi salam. Of course he will. That's the... That's the karamat of awliyaullah. They have karamat. It is he's, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able to give them something out of thin air. Thin air. I read another story that there was an old lady, Ajuz, walking. Somebody came giving her sadaqah. She snatched something from the air, according to the story. It was a bag full of gold coins. She said, if I need, I can get <laughs> a lady, an old lady walking. These are the servants of Allah. It is not hard. It is not difficult. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give to his servants what you never imagine. And out of nowhere, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need uh, reasons. He can say kun. 
it is done. And actually, Mawlana Sheikh Hisham said a story to Abba Sayyidina Nizamuddin Awliya that somebody came giving something to Nizamuddin Awliya and feeling proud of it. And Sayyidina Nizamuddin Awliya told him, look at the wall. He looked at the wall. He saw the wall full of gold coins. Did you hear that story from Mawlana Sheikh Hisham? I heard it. He said, oh, yeah, oh my son, whatever we need, we can get. <laughs> Whenever need, we can get it's there. So, but you give, you give because you're out of your generosity and expecting something from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Whether you're expecting now or then, it's up to the intention. But awliya Allah, they take because of the ajr that the giver will have. That ajr that that the giver will will have here and hereafter. Whatever they give, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has promised to replace. وَمَا أَنْفَقْتُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَهُوَ يُخْلِفُهُ He said, whatever you give, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will replace it. One time, seven times, seventy times, seven hundred times, to multiple times here. And on the day of judgment, you will see it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give it to you over there. Because He has ordered it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered it. But awliya Allah, when they need, they ask Him. They ask Mawlana Shaykh Nazim one time, MashaAllah, you have so many people here. How do you feed them? Where do you get the money? <laughs> they thought he was on the payroll of the CIA or FBI or KGB or whatever it is. <laughs> because they, taught, they said he was a spy. Back in the 60s, 70s, they used to say he was a British spy. I don't know if you heard, but that's, they used to say bad things about Mawlana Sheikh Muslim. So this, this smart one came. He said, where do you get this? You feed all these people. He said, oh my son, at night after Aisha, I go to, my, to the roof. I put my prayer carpet and it rains gold on me. <laughs> I collect the gold <laughs> and come down. <laughs> Which is true. In, an, in how he knows. How he knows. It is true that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provides. He provides. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ghani. Which one? In his hand is mulk. In his hand, tabarak alladhi biyadihi al mulk. In his holy hand is all this mulk. Not only earth, everything else. Also, the space station and Mars and moon and everything else. Tabarak alladhi biyadihi al mulk. Tabarak means from baraka. Baraka means multiplication. So for dunya, is multiplying tabaraka alladhi biyadihi al mulk in his hand is mulk and that mulk does not dis, uh, decrease rather it's continuously there's baraka there's izdiyat there is uh, incre increments fa subhana alladhi biyadihi malakut in surah yasin the last verse fa subhana alladhi biyadihi glorified is he the one in his hand is also malakut spiritual world in his hand is mulk, in his holy hand malakut. Wal-ardu jami'an qabdatuhu. All of this earth is his in his fist. Wal-samawatu matwiyatun biyaminihi. All samawat are folded in his right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has everything with him. So if you are with him, you find everything. That's what Mawlana is pointing to. Keep Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with you. You will find everything you need with him. You want shifa? He gives you. You want rahmah? He gives you. You want happiness? He gives you. You want from this world? He gives you. You want from the other world? He gives you. Keep him with you. In your heart, on your tongue, in your mind. That's why Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, هَلْ هُنَاكَ مَلْجَأْ وَمَنْجَأْ أَحْسَنْ مِنَ اللَّهِ Is there any shelter or safety better than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No, there's none. There's none. So mu'min, Muslim always keep, keep Allah with you. Keep Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart. Really keep Him with you. Always get that understanding that He is able to protect me. He is able to provide for me. He is able to support me. He is able to purify me. He is able to admit me to His presence. He is the one as I think of him and his rahmah has superseded has passed his ghazab 
always, always come to the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That rahmah is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He has reached before shaitan. Shaitan is sign of ghazab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rahmah is sign of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reaches human being before shaitan. That's why they all go to Jannah at the end. Everybody's going to be in Jannah, but levels. There are eight paradises, as we know, and levels in paradises. So depending on your love, not your amal. Don't think your amal will make you get higher degree in Jannah. Your love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the, that is the, um, the thing that will increase you up in His divine presence. Because al-mar'u ma'man ahab person is with whom he loves the more you love him the closer is are you to him that's why Rasulullah went all the way aw adna he approached 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 Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and even more that adna uh, closer and closer as Mawlana Sheikh Nazim has said is unlimited stations don't think it's like one more step and I am with Allah no that is maqamatul qurb Maqamat of Qurbiyat, stations of closeness, unlimited, no limit. Stations of Taqwa, unlimited. Stations of Alam, unlimited. Stations of Muhabbat, unlimited. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not limited. The more you go, the more you want. The more you want. That's addiction. <laughs> addiction. So choose your addiction. Choose your addiction. That's why awliyaullah, they left everything and they went to their Lord. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, look what he's saying. If it was for me, kuntu atruku kulla shay. What does that mean? Kuntu, I would have leave, if it were for me, I would have leave everything because of that addiction. حَتَّى أَكُونُ نَسْيًا مَنْسِيًّا Until nothing of this universe knows me and I don't know anything of this universe. نَسْيًا Forgotten. مَنْسِيًّا Even more forgotten. That means nobody remembers me because I don't want anything except my Lord. That is the addiction. He's addicted to the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I don't care about anything else. I leave everything if it were for me. But the shuyukh nowadays... They leave everything except their name. <laughs> I am leaving everything, but I want to be known by everybody. From east to west, they have to know me. From north to south, they have to know me. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, if it were for me, I would leave everything until I am totally forgotten. From east to west, from north to south. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's irada that he made me known. Hazrat Maryam was like that. She wanted to leave everything. But he made her known. How? By having Isa alayhi salam. It's a miracle. So she's known forever. She didn't want to be known. She wanted to be forgotten. Because they, they want to leave everything except their Lord. They only want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah we are on that path. Work on your love. Don't work on your name. Don't work on your appearance. Don't work on your amal. Don't work on anything. Work on your love. How do you get love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Through the hearts of awliyaullah. Find waliyullah. If you don't find them physically, find them in the maqam. Sleeping, resting in his maqam until yawm al-qiyamah. If you don't find the maqam, find them in their books. Open the books of awliyaullah. Faiz is coming from there nowadays. Mawlana Sheikh Nazim used to say the Faiz is, comes from the books of Awliyaullah. Read. Read about Shams Tabrizi like we did yesterday. Read about Sayyidina Jalal al-Din Rumi. Read about uh, Khusru. Read about uh, Bulli Shah. Qaddas Allah Asrarum. All of them. Read, read what they have written. What did they write? They write for who? They wrote it for you. They don't need it. They are Awliyaullah as Mawlana Shaykh is saying, يُظْهِرْ حِكْمَتَهُ وَيُنْتِقْ لِسَانِي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show his wisdom and make my tongue speak. 
So what Bulla Shah, Hazrat Bulla Shah Qaddas Allah Surah has written is not from him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made his tongue and his pen work for you. If it were for them, they would leave everything and stay with their Lord. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them back for human, human beings. So find book instead of doing Google and Facebook and Instagram. Find a book at least one hour, two hours a day. Read. Read the stories of Awliyaullah. Read their experiences. One Waliullah, he, it is said that he used to write everything when he goes to the shuyukh, when he was a, a murid. He used to write all their suhbas, everything. Books and books and books. When he reached wilaya, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened wilaya to him, they don't say, but his friends started to see him ripping his books. He said, what are you doing? You're ripping the books. He said, after I found my destination, I don't need the maps anymore. You found your destination. You don't need the map. So all these books are your maps. Maps to reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once you reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you don't need the maps anymore. So that's why they throw the books away. Because now they are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and He makes their tongue speak. Mawlana Shaykh Nazim is saying, Yuntiq lisani. He makes my tongue speak. He said, not even English, Arabic, Turkish, I cannot speak anything if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't make my tongue speak. And inshallah, I'll finish here. Sayyidina Khalid al-Baghdadi. I think maybe the Mursab has heard the story before. Sayyidina Khalid al-Baghdadi. He is Kurdish. His language is Kurdish. He doesn't know Arabic. He was sent by order of Rasulullah to Baghdad. He says, go to the masjid, go on the min on the kursi and speak. He said, yes, Sayyidi, I am Kurdish. I don't have Arabic. If you are ordering me the, to do this, let I need to speak Arabic. He said, you go and we'll take care of it. He went, sat on the kursi and said, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim and starting speaking fluent Arabic. His tongue his tongue started to move. Oh, they will say, oh, this is all rubbish, garbage, nonsense. Didn't you read Quran? What did Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam say? Why did Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam had uqda, had a knot in his tongue? What does that tell you? That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able to move the tongue of any servant of his in any way he wants. Isn't that a sign? He had, uh, he couldn't speak. So what did he say? Ya Rabbi, Rabbi hlul uqdatan. Timur sab. Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi hlul uqdatan min lisani. Not only that, not only allow my tongue to speak, yafqahu qawli. That they understand what I say. Didn't Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make people understand what Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam was saying? Rabbi shrah li sadri. وَحْلُلْ عُقْدَةً مِنْ لِسَانِ يَفْقَهُ قَوْلِي He had a knot. He couldn't speak. Sayyidina Khalid al-Baghdadi, why do you deny karamat al-awliya? Look, it's in Quran. It's a dalil in Quran. You deny that awliya Allah have powers. In Quran, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam couldn't speak. He had an impediment because of the of the call he has taken in his mouth. You know why? Because he slapped Pharaoh when he was a little kid. Pharaoh said, this is shaitan, I will kill him. She said, no, no, he doesn't know. He's just playing with you. He doesn't know fire from candy. So Asiya, Asiya alayhi uh, salam, she brought uh, a coal and candy. And she told uh, Musa alayhi salam, take. He took the coal and put it in his mouth. That's how he was spared from killing of Pharaoh when he was a little kid. Because he slapped him. He knew that he's his future enemy. <laughs> They're open. Their, their heart is open. So the coal burned his tongue, but no pain. As awliyaullah have said, he didn't have the pain. He just burned his tongue. He couldn't speak. And he said, Ya Rabbi, uh, solve, untie that knot. So I can speak, not only speak, but they understand. Qawli. They understand my qawl. As Sayyidina Khalid al-Baghdadi asked the same. The same, Waliullah, Abdullah, Habibullah. 
He asked. He said, don't worry, go. We will untie your tongue and they will understand what you say. And that happened. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able to do anything he wants for his pious servant. Allah will make you fly in thin air. Why not? He will make you fly. Shaitan flies. Why not Abd? Birds fly. He's able to make anybody fly. Anybody fly. The worm flies. How does the worm fly? It goes into seclusion, Sheikh. <laughs> it 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 uh, isolates itself totally from the whole dunya. What happens at the end? It becomes a beautiful creature and flies. You are the same. You are a worm at this time. We are all crawling on earth. <laughs> Inshallah, we don't become bait for the fish. The fish of Yunus alayhi salam. That fish took the mu'min in the, into darkness. Don't be a bait. Don't be a bait to your ego. Your ego will swallow you as Yunus alayhi salam was swallowed by the fish and will take you all the way into darkness. So don't be a crawler. Isolate yourself with zikrullah and become a butterfly and fly away. Fly away in the dominions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the dominions, in his dominions, inshallah. I think it's enough. Uh, everybody is sleeping already, alhamdulillah. This is good volume. <laughs> ya Rabbi, make us from the ones that always remember you, love you, love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, believe in karamat of awliyaullah, believe that you're able to do everything, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Make us from the good ones, Ya Rabbi, and make us always at the feet and thresholds of awliyaullah. Ameen. Ahlul Bayt, Ya Rabbi, Sahabai Kiram, good ones, Ya Rabbi. Always make us together, Ya Rabbi. And if there's any enmity, any hatred, any ill feelings, remove it from our hearts, Ya Rabbi. You have promised that you remove that ghil from the hearts of mu'mins. We are believing in you, Ya Rabbi. Remove any kind of ill feelings that is in our hearts to anybody, Ya Rabbi. We are not, we are not ha harboring any ill feelings to anyone. Muslim or non-Muslim, we are not harboring anything to any human being, Ya Rabbi. We want to be at peace with everybody and at peace with your presence, Ya Rabbi, with your zikr, Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. Bihurmat Al-Habib Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa bisir Surat Al-Fatiha. Ameen. Inshallah, we'll do a small zikr and then we can pray Zuhur. I think Zuhur has come. Okay, it's good. We have time. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نوينا ختم الخاجة كان أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم استغفر الله 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 العظيم الذي لا اله الا هو الحي القيوم واتوب اليه من كل ذنب ومعصية من كل ما يخالف دين الإسلام من كل ما يخالف الشريعة من كل ما يخالف الطريق من كل ما يخالف الحقيقة من كل ما يخالف المعرفة من كل ما يخالف العزيمة يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله اللهم يا مسبب الأسباب يا مفتح الأبواب يا مقلب القلوب والأبصار يا دليل المتحيرين يا غياث المستغيثين يا حي يا قيوم يا ذا الجلال والإكرام وأفوض أمري إلى الله إن الله بصير بالعباد 
Rabitatu Sharif. Connect your heart. Bring the presence of Mawlana into your hearts. The story of Sayyidi Madad. Ya Sultan al Awliya. سورة الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صلوات الشريف اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم 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 اللهم صل على آل محمد وسلم سورة الشرح بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا عنك وزرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فارغب الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا عنك وزرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرقت فانصب إلى ربك فارغب الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم نشرح لك صدرك ووضعنا عنك وزرك الذي أنقض ظهرك ورفعنا لك ذكرك فإن مع العسر يسرا إن مع العسر يسرا فإذا فرقت فانصب إلى ربك فارغب سورة الإخلاص بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد كفوا أحد الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد كفوا أحد الله أكبر سورة الفاتحة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم آمين صلوات الشريف اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم 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 اللهم صل على 
لمحمد وسلم صل يا رب وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وآلي كل أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب قد آتيتني من الملك وعلمتني من تأويل الأحاديث فاطر السماوات والأرض أنت ولي في الدنيا والآخرة توفني مسلما وألحقني بالصالحين صدق الله العظيم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين إلى حضرة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وآله وأصحابه الكرام والأرواح إخواني من الأنبياء والمرسلين قدم شرائعهم وإلى أرواح لمة الأربعة وإلى أرواح مشائخنا في الطريقة النقش بندية العلية خاصة إلى أرواح إمام الطريقة وغوث الخليقة خاجة بهاء الدين النقش بندي محمد وسيل البخاري وحضرة أستاذنا مولانا الشيخ محمد ناظم الحقاني وأستاذ أستاذنا سيد الشيخ عبد الله الفاز الدغستاني وسائر ساداتنا وصدقين والخات من خاجة كان And to the souls of our fathers, our mothers, our grandfathers, our grandmothers, our aunts, our uncles, brothers and sisters, children, family, relatives and friends and all that has passed on to the other life from Ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam especially our brothers and sisters in Tariqah and especially Zafar Bay and the rest of them Ya Rabbi that have passed on to the other life Nuriya Sheikh Ibar Abdul Wahad and the rest of them Ya Rabbi Ridaan illahi ta'ala al-Fatiha Ya Hu Ya Hu Ya Daim Ya Hu Ya Hu Allah, ya hu, ya daim, ya daim, ya daim, ya daim, ya Allah, ya halim, ya halim, ya halim, ya Allah, ya hafiz. يا حفيظ يا حفيظ يا الله يا لطيف يا لطيف يا لطيف يا الله يا غفار يا غفار يا غفار يا الله الله يا ستار يا ستار يا ستار يا الله الله يا جبار يا جبار يا جبار يا الله الله يا قهار يا قهار يا قهار يا الله الله يا رؤوف يا رؤوف يا الله الله يا ودود يا ودود يا ودود يا الله يا شافي يا شافي يا شافي يا الله الله يا كافي يا كافي يا كافي يا الله الله يا هادي يا هادي يا هادي يا الله الله يا باقي يا باقي يا باقي يا الله الله يا غفور يا غفور يا غفور يا الله الله يا شكور يا شكور الله الله يا صبور يا صبور 
Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahman, Allah, Ya Rahim, Ya Rahim, Ya Allah, Ya Karim. يا كريم يا الله الله يا عظيم يا عظيم يا عظيم يا الله الله يا حكيم يا حكيم يا حكيم يا الله يا حنان يا حنان يا حنان يا الله الله يا منان يا منان يا منان يا الله الله يا ديان يا ديان يا ديان يا الله الله يا سبحان يا سبحان يا سبحان يا الله الله يا سلطان يا سلطان يا الله يا الله يا الله يا الله يا الله أنت الله أنت الله أنت الله يا الله هو الله هو الله هو الله حسبنا الله ربنا 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 الله حسبنا الله هو نعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى وسلم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد 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 وسلم اللهم صل على لمحمد وسلم صل يا رب وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وآل كل أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين على أشرف العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات على أفضل العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات على أكمل العالمين سيدنا محمد الصلوات صلوات الله تعالى وملائكته وأنبيائه ورسله وجميع خلقه على محمد وعلى آل محمد عليه وعليهم السلام ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته ورضي 
رضي الله تبارك وتعالى عن ساداتنا أصحاب رسول الله أجمعين وعن التابعين بهم بإحسان وعن الأمة المجتهدين الماضين وعن العلماء المتقين وعن الأولياء الصالحين وعن مشايخنا في الطريقة النقش بندية العلية قدس الله تعالى أرواحهم الزكية ونور الله تعالى أضرحتهم المباركة وعاد الله تعالى إلينا من بركاتهم وفيوضاتهم دائما والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة إلى حضرة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وصحابه الكرام ولا روح إخواني من الأنبياء والمسلمين خذوا ما يشرعين ولا روح لمت الأربعة ولا روح مشايخنا في الطريقة النقش بندية العلية خاصة إلى روح إمام الطريقة وغوث الخليقة خاجة بها الدين نقش بندي محمد وسيل البخاري ولا حضرة أستاذنا مولانا الشيخ محمد نازم الحقاني وأستاذي أستاذي سيد الشيخ عبد الله الدغستاني وسائر ساداتنا وصديقنا الختم الخاجة كان وسيدنا عبد الخالق الجدواني بخصوص إلى روح المرحوم زفر باي وإلى جميع المؤمنين والمسلمين والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات يا رب وإلى روح الأمة عامة أجمعين رضاء الله تعالى الفاتح سبحان ربي العلي الأعلى الوهاب أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ربنا يا ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم واهدنا ووفقنا إلى الحق وإلى طريق مستقيم ببركة القرآن العظيم وبحرمة النبي الكريم واعف عنا يا كريم واعف عنا يا رحيم واغفر لنا ذنوبنا بفضلك وجودك يا أكرم الأكرمين يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اجعل جمعنا هذا جمعا مرحوما وتفرقنا من بعده تفرقا معصوما ولا تجعل فينا شقيا ولا محروما اللهم زدنا ولا تنقصنا اللهم أكرمنا ولا تهنا اللهم أعطنا ولا تحرمنا اللهم آثرنا ولا تؤثر علينا اللهم ارضنا وارض عنا اللهم اجعلنا في حفظك وحزبك وكرمك وأمانك وكنفك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اجعلنا محفوظين في الدنيا والآخرة يا ربي اللهم اجعلنا مفلحين اللهم اجعلنا من عبادك الصالحين اللهم تقبل منا صالح أعمالنا اللهم كفر عنا سيئاتنا اللهم توفنا مع الأبرار اللهم إنا نسألك رضاك والجنة ونعوذ بك من سخطك والنار اللهم إنا نسألك حبك وحب من يحبك والعمل الذي يبلغنا حبك يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعلنا مع الحبيب المصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم وآله وأصحابه والتابعين ورضي الله عنهم أجمعين اللهم ارضى عنا بجاه حبيبك صلى الله عليه وسلم يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا وتب علينا واهدنا واسقنا واسترنا واصلح شأننا وشأن المسلمين وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين وانصر سلطان سلطان المسلمين اللهم اشفنا واشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين اللهم عافنا وعاف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين اللهم ارحمنا وارحم أمواتنا وأموات المسلمين اللهم إنا نسألك إيمانا كاملا ويقينا صادقا ولسانا ذاكرا وقلبا خاشعا ورزقا واسعا وحلالا طيبا وأولادا صالحا وعملا متقبلا وعلما نجيحا وسعيا مشكورا وتجارة لن تبور وصل يا رب وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة آمين تقبل الله